We made it to Friday. Today is December 18th and it is about four o'clock in the afternoon. We just recently picked our kids up from school and they are now off for Christmas break. So they'll be home for at least two weeks and um, I was thinking today we were going to be told that our area was going to move into lockdown but they have not made a decision as of yet. Apparently we will not find out until Monday. So the teachers did send home the kids work for I think just a couple of weeks of January just in case they do go into lockdown and we have to do virtual for a while we're prepared for that but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it everybody's home everybody is healthy and I am very grateful for that um, to just have my boys home and we can really get to do some comfy cozy Christmassy stuff over the next week uh, before the big day so I'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee So, first thing this morning, um, I could hear my oh, my oldest was down here in our living room. We um, we have our Wi-Fi set up so they can't use the devices that they have in their rooms um, till after after school hours. Um, so he had snuck downstairs and he was watching the latest episode of The Mandalorian. Um, so we of course <laughs> had to. Um, not shoo him off, but basically we didn't want to get it ruined <laughs> for us. So after he went to school and his brothers went to school, then my husband and I were like, okay, we got to watch it right away. And I had thought I was going to edit last night's or yesterday's podcast during the show, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to put it away and pay attention and I'll just work on my sock while we watch. So that's what I did. And it was so good. It was so good. Um, if you are a Star Wars fan, and then I'm sure you're already watching this show, but if you haven't seen it yet, you guys, you gotta see this episode. It is so good. And now I don't usually watch the credits. I'll usually just turn it off and sort of, you know, absorb everything and process everything that I've just seen, but you need to watch the credits. Just trust me on this one. So good. So good. Um, my husband and I have been watching these movies for ages. And uh, I remember, you know, just like going to like midnight premieres and stuff like that. Um, it was funny because when I was in grade nine, I want to say, I went on this optional school trip. It was, you signed up with it. Um, it was like a boarding school that was that was close to where I grew up. I didn't attend the boarding school, but they had they would arrange these different trips and they were open to people in the community as well. So you could sign up for them and, and go uh, on these trips. So I went on one and it was to Tunisia. And if you're a Star Wars fan, then where we went is where they filmed some of the scenes from Tatooine. Uh, specifically, we stayed in a hotel where they filmed the bar scene. I had not watched any Star Wars when we went there, so I'm like, oh yeah, whatever. Um, but when I got home, I did watch the movies. So this is when I started watching the movies. And then when I met my husband, he loved them and has a bunch of like Star Wars books as well. So we have been watching these. We usually rewatch them at least once every year. So we were super excited when The Mandalorian came out and sign up for Disney Plus for that reason alone. And I have no regrets. It is such a good show. Um, but yes, make sure you watch the latest episode and watch all through the credits. Um, at that point, like when the credits started rolling, I started editing um, my vlog. So I just hadn't turned it off yet and they were just sort of on. But you need to watch them. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't wanna spoil it for anyone, but you gotta watch. So during the movie, I did do a little catching up on my Christmas sock and I left it over there. So I'm going to go get it. Okay, here we go. This was the one I was working on. So I have done quite a few stripes since yesterday. I'm not quite caught up. I think I have one more, one more stripe after the screen one. And then I will be caught up to where I am on my other sock, which is the first 14, um, the first 14 stripes so I am three days behind it's okay I'll catch up um, 
So my goal for today is to finish this pink stripe and then knit the heel flap on the other sock. And then I will start doing um, the, what's it called, the gusset? I'll start doing the gusset afterwards and hopefully be all caught up by Monday. And then I'll just do the one stripe a day to hopefully have my socks ready for, for Christmas. That is, that is my plan. Um, so I was working on that this morning and I did, I did catch up somewhat and edited the vlog, got that uploaded. Then I printed out orders and got the packages packed and we drove them to the post office this afternoon, or not this afternoon, just around lunchtime to drop them off. And I did a couple of errands. We needed to stop and pick up a, a present for one of our kids. And then I had a little elf business that I got up to, but <laughs> I have been told I got caught on the elf cam. So I will let you watch that um, on a different channel. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But I also wanted to touch on these stars that I showed off on yesterday's vlog. I did a little post on Instagram and I asked if anyone would be interested in a tutorial on how to make these. Now these are a super, super classic Danish um, tree decoration. Like we have made, in my house, we made these first long, as I can remember, we made these these ones, and then there's another version which is a double star, um, and I think it was probably my dad who taught me how to make these. I think I can't remember, but I grew up making these each and every year for Christmas, and I remember one year it must have been about grade seven or eight. Um, we made these at school, and we were teaching. The boys had to make them. Apparently the boys don't make them quite as frequently as the girls, but I've always every year made these and I used to always get my mom to send me the strips to make these with. Um, and that was one of the questions that I got is where do you get the strips? So I'll show you here what I use. I use quilling paper like this. Um, so quilling paper is fairly readily available. Um, I know you can get it off Amazon and this here, this pack here is a quarter, uh, quarter inch, um, but, and you can get them in packages of like, um, just like a, a gradient or all one color or multicolors and all this. Um, these here are quarter inch. I think they make a star that's an inch wide. This one here, I want to say is three eighths. That's what I'm going to go with. I can't quite remember. And then the white, um, that one that's hanging behind me, that one is made with one inch strips. So it's quite a bit bigger. If I hold this red one up beside and you can kind of see it's quite a lot bigger. Um, the strips for these that I use for these, I ordered off of Etsy and I will link it below, but it comes to you kind of like this. It is still, I think, quilling paper, um, but this seller is specifically selling it to make the stars so it comes kind of like this in a big strip and you just pull them pull them off and um, that's where I had ordered it from a couple of years ago I ordered it and I just haven't gotten them all made yet um, but I was surprised how many people are interested in seeing this tutorial so I will absolutely record that for you this weekend and get that up and I will put links in that video with the um, specific shops that I ordered my paper from. Um, so you can you can order it from there or, or find your own if you're interested in trying. It's just the only thing is you can you can really do it um, with just paper you have. You just need to cut them in in um, strips that are all the same size. Like four, you need four strips that are all the same width for it to for it to work out. But yeah, I always grew up making these and I just sort of felt like making them the other day. And I think I will um, make a few more to put on the tree. Um, and just, it's just a nice little touch um, that reminds me of home. So I think I will add a few more sort of Danish decorations to our tree. And, but that's about, that's about it. <laughs> that's all we've sort of been up to. After we got back from uh, doing our errands, we came home 
and we just sat and listened. Sorry, we just sat and listened to the news to see if there was going to be any further restrictions. The way that they've done it in our area is they'll typically tell you on the Thursday or Friday if there's new restrictions coming and they will take effect on the Monday. Um, all we were told was they're doing a meeting with all the um, heads of the hospitals in our area and they're doing an emergency meeting this weekend and they will let us know on Monday. So we'll see. But I am pretty sure we're moving towards a lockdown situation. So I'm going to be making a trip to the grocery store and just get a few more pantry items to sort of stock up on. And this time I am prepared. I have lots of flour and lots of yeast and that kind of stuff. So if all else fails, we can bake bread. We can bake bread and we can live off of that. Um, but um, after I'm done here, I'm going to go to the kitchen. Um, I'm making banana bread because we had some bananas that are just a little overripe. So I am going to make uh, banana bread. And um, I always use the recipe from Magnolia. This was a cookbook that was recommended to me by several friends. And this is the recipe I'm always making out of this cookbook. I haven't actually used too many other recipes, but for that recipe alone, worth it. <laughs> We eat it that much and the kids love it. And then for dinner tonight, we are going to have Danish meatballs. So that will be, that will be a process. Um, I never used to make them for the kids. I don't really know why. But then one year when my dad was here, he wanted to cook and he made meatballs and my eldest or my two older boys devour these things. So um, we've started making those a bit more frequently and that is also a favorite around here. So usually when I make them, I go to Costco and I get the great big package of ground meat and then I make a whole bunch. So I think like the package they sell there, it's like six pounds or something, but it makes an awful lot of meatballs. <laughs> um, so that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And then I think we're just going to hunker down and watch another another Christmas movie. Um, a few people have asked what Christmas movies we watch with the kids. So I will maybe see if I can't make a list of the ones that we have watched so far and put them down below in case anybody needs ideas for, for movies to watch with, with younger ones. I will say we have watched some of the older ones, um, like older movies. And I remember watching them as a kid, so I'm just like, oh, remember I watched that movie, and now that I'm re-watching it as an adult, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I didn't remember that language was in there. So be forewarned, not all of them are suitable for, like, really young kids. Um, unfortunately, I guess my, my little ones have older brothers, so they've been conditioned. <laughs> um, but I will put a list down below of what we have watched so far. And um, we have several more on our list. I don't think we can watch them all. I don't think we can watch them all before Christmas, but we'll see what we get up to. But I'll check in with you again soon.